Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be making phở gà. It's Vietnamese chicken noodle soup. Phở is the national dish of Vietnam and since I make the video of phở bò which is beef noodle soup, many of you have requested me to make a version for chicken. So finally, today I'm making it. So let's begin. Here I have one soup chicken around 1.2 kg. If you can buy a free range chicken from a farm, that will be perfect. Sprinkle over some salt and rub on the skin to remove the bad poultry smell. Then give it a good rinse under cold running water. We're gonna stuff into its cavity one spring onion and two slices of ginger. This will add more flavor to the meat as we cook. Then add the chicken into a pot filled with 4 liters of water together with a tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of chicken stock. Bring to a boil and constantly skim up the form. It's very very important that we have a clear broth for this dish. So you have to skim up the form as soon as it rises to the top. Another secret to keep the broth clear is that we're gonna add in one peeled onion. When it boils, you lower the heat to medium and continue cooking for another 30 to 60 minutes depending on what kind of chicken that you have. To create the special pho aroma, you will need one cup of ginger about double the size of your thumb, three shallots, one cinnamon stick, two star anise and six coriander roots. In Vietnamese cuisine, we believe that the roots of the coriander carry the most of its essence. So please do not throw it away. You can keep it in the freezer to use when you cook for a gear. Alternatively, you can also use coriander seeds. Next, we're gonna grill all these elements directly on the stove. This will bring out the aromas in these elements. It smells really amazing. As long as you do this step, you know that you're gonna have a really good fergie. Just grill until the outside gets nicely charred. You can also grill it in the oven with the broiler on. Then rinse it under warm water and slightly scrape up the charred butt. For Fergie, the spices are really minimum because we want to enjoy the elegant aroma from these grilled roots and bulbs. Now insert them into tea bags or wrap tightly in a piece of cheesecloth. Then add to the soup pot. Another secret to have an amazing fragrant bowl of pho is that you only add in this aroma element to the soup pot 30 minutes before serving and not rise from the beginning. The broth should be really clear and has an amazing smell. For the rice noodles, there's so many brands out there, but today I'm just happy to use this one. Just boil it following package instructions until you can easily break it with your fingers. Then drain and rinse under cold running water to stop the cooking process. If you only do until this step and leave it there, most likely your noodles gonna stick to each other and form into a cake. So the trick here is, after rinsing with cold water, you switch to hot water and rinse again. This will help the noodles to get dry faster and stay separated. This trick works well on other kinds of noodles as well, so give it a try. Okay, so back to the soup pot. When you pierce the chicken with a chopstick and see no red water coming out, meaning it's cooked, then give it a good rinse under cold water to prevent it from blackening. Let cool completely and debone the chicken. You can either slide it into bite side pieces or shred it with your hands like this. You can also season the chicken slightly with salt and pepper. Every kid grow up in Vietnam should know this folk song saying chicken and lime leaves are best friends. So you want to block some leaves off a lime tree and roll it up, slide it into thin threads. Well, if you don't have a lime tree, you can always buy these leaves frozen at Asian store. Next, slide one onion thinly and soak in a bowl of cold water to remove the strong onion smell. 
For spring onion, detach the white and green parts. Chop up the leaves and slightly smash the white stem. That's all for the preparation. Let's assemble the dish. In a large serving bowl, add in noodles. Top up with chicken, the lime leaf threads, the sliced onion, and chopped spring onion. Quickly blanch the smashed spring onion stem and ladle the hot soup over the noodles. It smells really amazing. You can garnish with more spring onion and serve this with salted herbs and Asian sweet basil. If you want, you can also add in blanched bean sprouts, some hoisin and sriracha to your preference. Sweet a little bit of lime juice and have a sip to enjoy the clear yet amazingly fragrant and flavorful broth. Oh, you don't know how good this is until you really tried it. I hope you enjoy this recipe and if you're interested in more Vietnamese noodle recipes, you can click on the picture to see the playlist of all the noodle dishes that I made. If you like them, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.